What's up guys, Ed here, back with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about which Rove is for you. We have two different lengths, two different types. You might be curious, which one should you get? We're gonna be breaking that down in today's video, so let's get right into it. If you're wondering which Rove is for you, with me on the right side, I have Rove Pro in both lengths, and on the left side, I have Rove Mobile in both lengths. Let's first talk about the different types. So. Who's Rove Pro designed for? Rove Pro is mainly designed for if you're using a mirrorless camera like a Canon EOS R, a Fujifilm X-T3, or an A7 body, anything like that, you're gonna wanna get the Rove Pro. Also, what people have a question about asking is, can you use your phone on Rove Pro? Yes, you can also use your phone on Rove Pro because it comes with both ball heads, the camera mount and the phone mount. Now, another pro, <laughs> another pro of Rove Pro is that it has the built-in intervalometer, so it allows you to plug a shutter release cable in. Now, the reason why this is important is because when you plug a shutter release cable in from Rove Pro to your camera, you're able to get time lapses and trigger the shutter in your camera using the slider. Last but not least, Rove Pro has a gunmetal finish, while Rove Mobile is just a regular black finish. So, kind of gives that premium look. So those are the main key features of Rove Pro. Another thing to consider about Rove Pro before purchasing it is what type of videography are you doing? Are you getting paid for gigs? Are you doing it for fun? Are you vlogging? Are you traveling? Now Rove Pro is mainly catered towards people who have a little more camera knowledge on the mirrorless camera side. So they're aware with manual functions, with cameras, and they like traveling, and they're probably using things like drones and gimbals to accompany the slider when creating films. Now if you're thinking about getting Rove Mobile over Rove Pro, you also have to consider what type of videos are you shooting. Now for Rove Mobile, it's mainly intended for people who love capturing moments. They're not too caught up, they're not doing too much post-processing. Sometimes they're even editing clips in their phone and compiling a quick video to share with family or friends. Also, anyone who's designed to get iPhone films or someone who's trying to take maybe like iPhoneography or uh, mobile filmmaking to the next level, Rove Mobile will be a great option for you as well. Also, if you don't have a mirrorless camera and you don't plan on getting a mirrorless camera anytime in the near future, Rove Mobile will also be a good option for you as well. Now, Rove Mobile, unlike Rove Pro, does not have a shutter release cable because it's not designed to be used with mirrorless cameras and you obviously can't plug a shutter release cable into a phone. But you can access time-lapse ability through the mobile app, which is available when you purchase Rove Mobile. Another key feature that you guys will notice in the box is that in Rove Mobile, you don't get a pro ball head, which means a mirrorless camera is not intended to be used on Rove Mobile, just your phone, which is why it comes with the phone mount. Now the next thing to consider when figuring out which Rove is for you is the lengths. So obviously we've switched it, but now we have on right side of me the everyday length and the traveler length. Now who is the everyday length for? The everyday length Rove is mainly for people who are running gun, they like leaving a small footprint, they don't like showing up to a shoot with too much gear, and they also like to travel because because of its small size, you can really throw it into any carry-on, any backpack, any luggage, and that's a big pro of the everyday length. Another thing to consider is how you edit after you've captured your clips and you're editing in post-production. Are you the type of person to edit your videos very fast in more promotional space? Like, are you not on a clip for a prolonged period of time? That means that Every day will probably be good for you because even if you had longer slides and you end up with a longer clip, that extra length probably won't even make it into your video because you're always doing fast cuts. So that's another thing to consider before thinking about which length you need. Now who is the traveler length for when it comes to Rove? The traveler length is mainly for people who are more precise about their shots that they're getting or someone who's using their slider in a studio setting or most likely on some type of gig. Now having that extra uh, eight inches of slide because it's 16 total inches of slide with the traveler length, it allows you to get longer shots which will show more of what you're doing. So like we talked about for the other one, if you're the type of editor who likes to have long clips in your video, the traveler length will be good for you. Another thing to consider about the traveler length is time-lapsing. If you're a time-lapser and you like to get those you know, really vast, long slides in your time-lapse, whether that be Rove Mobile or Rove Pro, you wanna get the longer slider because 
you're not going to be satisfied with having like you know the rope every length because there's not going to be enough slide for you to you know utilize foreground and utilize the location that you're shooting at. However, something to consider with the traveler length is obviously its size. It's much larger than the everyday, so it's not something you can quickly you know toss in your backpack or your carry-on luggage when you're traveling. It is something that you're going to have to kind of carry. But chances are, if you're carrying a big slider like this, you probably have other gear that you're carrying as well. So that shouldn't be a problem. Now, if you notice this clip right here, we basically stacked up Rove Mobile to Rove Pro and everyday length to the traveler length. You can see where the everyday length stops and the traveler keeps going. So this will give you a good gauge of how much extra travel you're actually getting with, this, with both lengths. You'll also be able to see the quality difference. We're actually using a Sony A7 Mark III for the pros, and we're using an iPhone X for the mobiles. So you'll be able to see the quality difference you can expect depending on what camera you're using. Thank you guys for tuning in for this week's episode on which robe is for you. If you still have questions, be sure to reach out to us at support at rhinocg.com. Other than that, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already guys. Like this video and comment down below. We'd love to hear uh, your guys' thoughts on robe or any questions you guys might have. But other than that, we will see you guys in the next video.